My name is Yaru Liu. I'll introduce the paper submitted to iMeta. The title is Intraspecific Difference of Latolactobacillus sarcae on Inflammatory Bowel Diseases, Insights into Potential Mechanisms through Comparative Genomics and Metabolomics Analyses. Inflammatory Bowel Diseases, IBD, are clinically important chronic inflammatory diseases of the gastrointestinal tract that have become a global health burden. Gut microbiota dysbiosis is a pivotal pathogenic factor. Latolactobacillus sarcae has been shown to be effective in alleviating various immune diseases, including colitis. However, the mechanisms of different isolated sources of this strain have not yet been elucidated. Here, we aim to screen Latolactobacillus sarcae from different sources and explore the intraspecific differences of Latolactobacillus sarcae on IBD establishing a theoretical basis for further research on Latolactobacillus sarcae with probiotic functions. We obtained 72 strains of Latolactobacillus sarcae from 120 samples from all over China. 16 strains were randomly selected and the in vitro immune regulatory activity was preliminarily studied using a CARCO two-cell model induced by DSS. CCFM 1267, QGZZ YIHMT 1L6, QJSSZ 1L4, and QJSSZ 4L10 significantly alleviated the inhibitory effect of DSS on CARCO2. Cell activity. However, QJSNT 1L10 and QGZZ YIHMT 2L6 showed no significant protective effect. Based on the above results, the above six strains were selected and found that Latolactobacillus sarcae could restore the expression of tight junction protein genes, regulate the expression level of immune-related pathways. Subsequently, we further verified in mice with colitis, found that CCFM-1267 significantly restored colon length, improved body weight loss, and upregulated the content of four types of tight junction proteins decrease the levels of pro-inflammatory factors and inflammatory enzymes. The effect of QJSNT1L10 was poor. Therefore, we selected CCFM1267 and QJSNT1L10 to analyze the regulatory effects of Latolactobacillus sarcae on the gut microbiota. CCFM1267 can better improve the relative abundance of some short-chain fatty acid-producing genera, Enterorhabdus, Roseburia, and Alloprevotella. They produce short-chain fatty acids such as acetic acid and butyric acid, which have anti-inflammatory properties. In addition, CCFM1267 significantly upregates the abundance. Of Adlacroitia, a genus that has been shown to exert anti-inflammatory effects by metabolizing isoflavones. We further explored the underlying mechanisms based on comparative genomics and metabolomics. CCFM1267 and QJSNT1L10 belong to two subspecies of Lactobacillus sarcae, suggesting that differences in their genetic evolution may lead to differences in their function. At the same time, it was also found that there were significant differences in the genes related to carbohydrate active enzymes. Metabolomics results showed that acetylcholine and indole-3-acetic acid were the key substances. In conclusion, intraspecific variations of Latolactobacillus sarcae have been observed in their impacts on inflammatory bowel diseases in both in vitro and in vivo models. Differences in the carbohydrate active enzymes of Latolactobacillus sarcae may exert an indirect influence on the gut microbiota, leading to variations in the degree of remission. Based on the metabolomic profile of Latolactobacillus sarcae strains, it was found that acetylcholine and indole 3 acetic acid were tentatively identified as key substances that may contribute to the variations in their therapeutic efficacy.